As a comic industry looks for new readers, a lot of U.S. companies are really trying to kind of land the mark with kids and the new audience uh, that are coming into comics. But increasingly, it feels like their efforts are not working. Well, one place it is working is in Japan, where even old uh, long-time manga like One Piece seems to be successful. I'm going to interview a couple kids, and we're going to figure out what is it about One Piece and these kinds of comics that, that work. Hey everybody, this is Perch. I'm joined by two uh, very special guests. You want to say hello? Hi. Hola, senorita peoples. Okay. Hola, senorita peoples. Okay. Now, last time we did this, we were interviewing, uh, I was I was happy, we were reviewing Avengers, and it was that episode where Captain Marvel, Had her, baby. her baby grew up, and you both- And she married him? Yes, and you both like took control and uh, and went crazy. So this time, we'll, we won't do that, right? And, some, and someone said, he, he should- we should be in trouble. Yeah, okay. So this time, what we want to do, um, you both have mentioned this before, that you like other kinds of cartoons, manga, anime. Like what? One Piece and My Hero Academia and... Um, Sergeant Frog. Yeah, Sergeant Frog's a good one. The germ one. The germ one, right? There's, a, there's It's the human body with germs. We'll probably talk about My Hero Academia. And fairy tale, yeah. We'll fairy talk. Tale. We'll talk about My Hero Academia another time. But this time, I want to talk about One Piece. Now, you guys may not know, One Piece has actually been around for many, many years in Japan, and you guys are just discovering it. What is it you like about One Piece? That that there's a lot of blood. That the, no, be serious. What do you like about it, really? That there's a lot of blood. Okay, all right, we'll come back to you. You're you're joking around. What do you like about One Piece? Battling and action, mm -hmm. blood and, and blood. <laughs> Who? What are your favorite? Who's your favorite character on One Piece? Um, definitely not Sanji. He's weird. He's uh -huh. a pervert. He's a pervert. Yeah. Um, Tony. Tony or T Luffy. Tony Chopper. Tony or Luffy. Tony or Luffy. How about you? What's your favorite character in, on One Piece? Luffy. Luffy. What is it about? Now, what can you tell us about Luffy? What's special about Luffy? That he's really funny. Mm -hmm. What else is he? Uh, a maniac. A maniac. What? Dumb. Yeah, he's a little dumb. It's, have you noticed that he seems in season one to season two, something happened? What do you think happened? He changed and now he's like, water, I need water. And well, he's really weird. A maniac and super stupid. Yeah, he has gotten a little dumber. Do you, how do you get his powers? Devil fruit. Uh, which one? Do you know which one? Um, the. Do you know? Gum gum fruit. That's right. Gum 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 gum. Now, gum, how are there? By gum, gum gum. Yes, that's right. Are there any villains in this series? Oh, yeah. there's like more than a hundred. Uh huh. There's the rope works. There's Captain Smoker. And there's like over a million people in Brooklyn. Yeah, why? Including crocodile, like most you could crocodile's ass. Now, some people have said that uh, we're not going to say that word in you. Some people have said that the uh, you know comics for kids that kids don't like heroes and villains. They don't. They like just to have kind of fun situations, and they don't like real villains because villains are scary. Are any of the villains in One Piece scary? No way, Jose. They can be if it was reality. Yeah, but it's but it, it's a comic book, not reality. You're saying? Mm. Well, I wish it was reality. Why do you wish it was real? Cause, Action. Because we could. If it was real, I would love it because we could eat a gum gum fruit, and then I could search your powers, and then I could eat trees. You'd like to eat trees? <laughs> yeah. That'd be the power you want. You yeah. Want to eat trees. Okay. That's fine. All right. Well, let's go through the characters real quick. So again, for people, who are, so the captain of the ship is who? Luffy. Luffy. And he can do what? What powers does he have? Gum, 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 gum. And what does that mean? He can stretch he's super far. Dude. So he's, he's, so he's, he's a, rubber. So he's like Miss Marvel. No, no way, Jose. Okay. He's the opposite of creepy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, no, 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 not the opposite of creepy, but he's not as creepy as Miss Marvel. All right. Marvel. Weird. All right, all right, all right. And 
You're thinking of Daddy. Captain Marvel. You're thinking of Captain Marvel. Um, this is Miss Marvel, but that's we'll we'll worry about that another time. So, who was the first person who Luffy recruited to his crew? Zoro. Zoro. And what's his deal? He's swordman. Mm -hmm. Swordman. Second best swordman in the entire world. Yep. And he. Do you like him? He's kind of serious. Yeah. Now, does he have a different personality from Luffy? A hundred percent. Yeah. Now, do you notice that the characters all have kind of unique personalities, and yeah. some of those are different? Nami's and, bossy and loves money way too much. Uh huh. And who else is on the crew? Uh, Vivi and Tony Tony Chopper uh -huh. and Sanji, um, that duck, whatever his name is. Um, I. It's Sanji. Uh, now what's Yara. what's Sanji? Usopp. What's so, yeah, Usopp? What's Sanji like first? Sanji's a pervert and he cooks. Uh -huh. And he cooks and he and sets and giant mouse traps in front of the fridge to keep Luffy from getting in there. Yep. And he lo and he lo and he loves making food for girls and he always falls in love with them. Yeah. That means he's a pervert. Yep, and that's good. You guys keep remembering that. So and then Usopp, what's Usopp's deal? Usopp's, Usopp's a giant liar and has a really weird long nose. And is good with using a slingshot. He's a sniper. Yeah, and yeah. he's a scaredy cat. And he is a scaredy cat, a little bit chicken. Now, <laughs> what are some? What are? Uh, what's been your favorite villain? Um, crocodile. You like crocodile? Mm, yeah. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Not Arlong. Arlong was too creepy. The Arlong pirates. The fish lip guy was even creepier. Yep. Definitely not Arlong. I actually, actually. I think I think that like ballet dude. The number two. Yeah, Mr. Two. Mr. Two. He's the weirdest one. Why yeah. is he weird? Because he's a boy. He wears a tutu. He puts lipstick on. Yeah. And it's and it's and he's so obsessed with ballet. Um, either that really really fat lady who got thinner and ate a smooth smooth fruit. Um, I think she's just like really really ugly. Mm -hmm. uh, or or Miss Golden Wheat, uh -huh. Mr. Three's sidekick, who currently is dead. Uh -huh. Um and or um Mrs. Miss Valentine. Yeah. What is uh, so? What are some good lessons kid could take out of One Piece? Very be persistent. Be persistent. Um, what about you? Keep trying. Keep trying. Well, it's kind of yeah. It's like be persistent. Does the show teach you to follow your dreams? Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Because Luffy, because Luffy never stops. Like, if he needs to go to Alabaster, he just stops real quick. And then he says, "Let's go to the Grand Line." Yep. And then he. They're keeps, already in the Grand Line. Alabaster's in the Grand Line. If anything happens, he still wants to go to the Grand Line. Now, how does this compare? You've seen some other movies. You've watched kind of some of the Avengers, and you've seen Black Panther. Have you seen Black Panther? Yeah. I think you have, and you've seen uh, Ant Man, right? Yeah, forgot, forgot. Yeah, what is what? Which would you rather see? Would you rather watch One Piece, or would you rather watch these kind of Marvel movies? One what? Piece. Why? Cause, cause One Piece is more fun. Captain Marvel is boring right. and weird. Believe it or not, people may think that I, as a parent, am telling them to say this. I don't. I, I actually I thought Captain Marvel was fine, but it didn't work. The kids did not enjoy it. And what I'm really trying to get to with both of you today is, is why is it so, again, you, you live here in the U.S., you have all the toys, you have T-shirts. We would go to Target and we would see Captain Marvel shirts all over the place. Remember that? And dresses and things? But I would not buy it. I don't... I will only buy anything except Captain Marvel. She is freaky, weird, and except and. But why? One question. Just if because you said you buy she's everything so weird. You said you buy everything but Captain Marvel. So I think that basically means you would you would buy anything. I could think of a lot of things like that are weirder. Captain Marvel's brother, or she didn't have a brother. No, like I oh, like no the baby. I meant the baby. Like, I meant oh, like yeah, okay. nothing but except like but, the Captain Mar the Avengers movies. Okay, you would enough. buy false hair. Thor, you'd buy Thor. <laughs> no way. Okay, okay, okay. She'd buy false listen, hair. Listen, listen, both of you. So a real question now, and I, I want to explain. So right now, there's a lot of people on the computer who hate Captain Marvel, and they just everything Captain Marvel does wrong, wrong, wrong. 
But there's other people who really like Captain Marvel and, and actually like that character and, and want to see more things happen. The thing that I'm interested with you, and I'll ask kind of one more time, and I'll let you guys off the hook. I know you want to go and play. You're, you're, you got the wiggles pretty good. I want good. to play Fat Princess. Yeah, okay. That's that's, that's an old uh, PS game, a PlayStation a network game, if people don't know. But anyway, what I want to ask is, what is it? I, I, I've, I've said this before. What is it about One Piece that just, if you, you have limited screen time, you want to watch something on the TV, One Piece is what you go for, and not... Things like uh, Captain Marvel or Marvel Rising, or false or, hair, or I don't know what that is, but false what, hair, it's fake hair. But what is it? What is what yeah. is it about things like One Piece and My Hero Academia and uh, Cells at Work, or or um, oh yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, or Sergeant Frog. What is it about those shows that keep you interested? Humor. 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 What else? Mm, action. Action. You like the action too? What's what's I want you to notice, and maybe you're a little bit both too young for this, but they're the characters. You know, I was having you describe some of the character behaviors, and you're talking about how Nami is greedy and Sanji's a coward and Zoro has his Sanji, honor. No, no, or, sorry, Usopp's not Usopp, coward. Usopp, Usopp. Sanji's, Sanji's the pervert. pervert, yes. That every character has a very unique personality with good and bad parts. What's a good part about Nami, for example? What's something good about her uh, that she does? That when, like, then when, like, Luffy saved them from the wax thing, from the wax thing from Mr. Three, she said, like, good job. And okay. she didn't, didn't just yell at them that c they like could do does. a better job. So she was supportive. Okay. Is she smart? Yeah. And she's kind of the clever one of the group. And she helps, like. Like Luffy no, actually, she's said. just good at calling Luffy dumb. Well, yes, but she's also she's a navigator. It must mean she's she, smart, right? And she's mm -hmm. good at like telling them like two days until we're here at or something. Right. Is she brave? Yeah. Yeah. And well, is she not really? Is she greedy? Yes. She's second yeah. up coward from. She's greedy about money. Yeah. So greedy. She has, she's obsessed with money. Okay. But then forward. then we go over to Luffy, and you mentioned that Luffy's kind of dumb. Right? Yeah. But is he brave? Yes, yes. He, he has loves... actually no fear. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing that I'm pointing out here and, and is important for you guys, and I think for all the people listening, is is there's something unique about these characters and that they all have strengths and weaknesses. There's parts of them that are great and parts of them that are weak. And what makes characters really wonderful and what makes it so that they're interesting is if they have both good and bad things about their personalities. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And I think that's one thing, if I'm looking at a lot of U.S. comics consistently, that's one thing that often the heroes are afraid to have flaws. And the villains um, are often treated not like big threats. I mean, the villains in, in One Piece, are they, are they out for blood? Are they, are, they gonna, are they dangerous? Yeah. They want to... Not all the, of them, all, but most like, of them. They, like, all the villains kind of want to kill Luffy because he has, like... 30 million a bounty big, on his head. A big... 30 million but, bounty on his head. Yeah. Now, I'll point out at this point, um, the girls, you both are... You're through... Almost through the second season, you're on the Alabasta storyline, yeah. and they're about to fight crocodiles. This is a little kind of example of why you like One Piece. Anything else you want to say about One Piece before we go? No. We'll do more of these with you, too, but you and I... All three of us have to have a little talk about keeping things under control on here. What do you think? What? All right. Well, We're thanks for fine. listening, everybody. Um, like, subscribe, uh, put a comment below. I promise I'm a better dad than what you're probably thinking by listening to this. Um, give me some uh, <laughs> questions on Twitter at Comic Perch, and thanks for listening. Bye.